Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher, and I'm here to teach you how I lost 60 pounds with 40 more to go by substituting the foods that I love with the foods that love me back. So I've got another sweet recipe for you. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a thumbs up. All right, so today I made a cracker toffee. I've made this before. I did a little bit of a twist. It was so, so yummy. So let me show you the ingredients that I used. I had some chopped pecans in the pantry. I didn't use a whole lot, just a little bit of a dusting at the very end. This recipe is on Food Network Kitchen and it actually calls for saltines, but I try to stay away from uh, a lot of grains. So I only eat these uh, multigrain or other type of like rice crackers or something that's not um, the other kind of starches, but you'll see here. I've got some multigrain crackers and it's going to look like a lot, but I only ate about six of them and these are small, you know, square crackers. We have some goat's butter here. I try to stay away from dairy. So goat's butter has been approved for me. I use uh, goat uh, products, goat cheese. I've had goat yogurt. I've had goat uh, butter. And then the, a little bit of chocolate. This recipe calls for uh, semi-sweet chocolate chips and I didn't have any on hand. So I substituted with my little stash of the uh, sugar-free chocolate bar and I broke it in half and then I ground it up to make shavings. So, so I'll show you how I did that. So this was my chocolate uh, for the recipe, a little flaky Kona sea salt. You've seen this before. I got this as a souvenir in Hawaii. Amazing. And then again, my swerve sweetener. So there's a lot of different varieties of swerve that you can use. This one is the granular. So it's closest to just regular table sugar. All right, so I started out by shredding my chocolate since I needed chocolate chips for the recipe and I didn't have any. I absolutely love this hand crank shredder. I just got it on Amazon. It comes with three different grinder attachments and this is the one that I used to shred my own cheese. So I just thought, well, if I don't have chocolate chips, maybe I can make something close to it. So it's just, you know, simple plastic with the metal pieces inside and this hand crank. And one of the things that I love about it is that it has this base that has a suction on it. So it's stable onto the counter when I'm doing the uh, elbow grease. So you'll see there, it's got this little safety that you put your food in here where the blades are, and then you put the safety over top and press down as you're cranking. So your fingers are out of the way. This would be great for kids to use, but I love it. I try to avoid buying shredded cheeses. I buy by the block and it's cheaper and it tastes better because you don't have the preservatives inside to keep it from uh, kicking up. All right, so like I said, I just broke off a couple squares of the um, chocolate and this is a dark chocolate. So it's, it doesn't have a lot of milk in it. It's not very creamy, but that's fine. I just needed enough for the chocolate flavor and I ground it up and put it into this little container so I can save it for dusting on coffee or any desserts. Take a look and you'll see my chocolate covered berries recipe. You'll see these again. All right, so I've got my crackers here. And again, this picture looks large, but it's a small air fryer tray. The recipe calls for you to set out your crackers on parchment paper. So I just had seven crackers. And then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to microwave your ingredients. So it calls for a whole stick of butter and a whole uh, cup of sugar. I pared it down because the recipe calls for a sleeve of saltine crackers and I'm absolutely not eating that. But just for a little snack, I put a pat of butter and like a couple tablespoons of sugar. It calls for salt, but I'm using salted butter. So I didn't need any extra salt and a little bit of water. You put that in the microwave and keep your eye on it because the recipe says to microwave it for eight minutes and it burns very quickly. So once it changes from this color, this was probably after about mm, a minute or two, you want to see that golden caramel toffee color. I kind of overdid it, but once it starts bubbling and it turns brown, you want to take it out of the microwave. I love using this gravy boat. Let me go back so you guys can see it because it's got this nice cool handle and it's got this really thick base, if you can see here, because when you take hot melted butter out of the microwave, it's going to be bubbling. And I have had a little butter accident by taking a glass dish out of the microwave and I just set it on the counter but it is winter time here. And so granite counters are cold and it just shattered. So be very careful. And this gravy boat has worked great for me because I can pour. All right, so let's go on to the next steps. 
So you'll see here, I've got my crackers on the parchment paper and literally I just drizzled the caramel toffee that I had just made in the microwave. So no pots and pans needed onto the paper. It's really hot. So just go slow and it'll just ooze on down to the sides and then it'll seize up pretty quickly because it's going to turn into a uh, uh, caramel toffee. I had some extra left over. You could save it and drizzle it on popcorn. You could do all kinds of stuff with it. All right. So then um, I don't think I grabbed a picture of this one, but once the toffee has been on the crackers, then I took the chocolate shavings that I had ground up. This is where you're supposed to sprinkle with chocolate chips, but instead I used the chocolate shavings that I had just made. And so you sprinkle that over the hot caramel. And so the heat from the caramel makes your chocolate melt down. And then you'll see, I just tossed on a little bit of the flaky sea salt because sweet and salty, what could be better? And then lastly, like I said, I had a pinch of pecans and I just dusted it with the crumbled up pecans. Not a lot because this is a very thin cracker, but just enough to get those layers and those textures and you're pretty much done. Now what you wanna do since it's cooling, but it's still warm to get that texture and that crunch, you've gotta put it in the refrigerator. So put it in the fridge, go do something else, do some laundry, clean something, uh, find something to do for about 20 or 30 minutes because when you come back, literally it's like one big sheet that you can just snap off the jagged pieces and I set them in a bowl and this is my chocolate cracker toffee. So I hope you guys loved it. I sure enjoyed it and um, let me know with a thumbs up if you like the sweet recipes or you like the savory recipes and if you've got something that you want me to try, I'd love to make it for you. Until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.